Hello, I'm Janelle Shala, and in this video I'm discussing a lesser known mineral called cassiterite. The name cassiterite comes from um, the ancient name for the isles off the west of Europe, which in other words was actually Britain, or we're pretty certain it was Britain. This is a lovely twin crystal here that comes from the San Antonio mine in Bolivia. And a lot of what the material that you'll get these days is from Bolivia. It's, it's not as common in some of the other places like um, Cornwall. It's completely mined out now. But it has been mined in Cornwall, as I said, since the Bronze Age. And it was the, the discovery of this and the beginning of smelting of it to get tin and mixing that tin with copper. The alloy is bronze. And so that was actually the birth of the Bronze Age. There's only one place in the world, which is in Turkey, where it was mined sooner than it was mined in Cornwall. And most of the industry in Cornwall, selling to the Phoenicians and onward, right until the 18th century, was mining tin. It, they also mined a lot of other things like copper, but tin was one of the biggest minerals in their production. This is a... Um, this is an example from the same mine in Bolivia. It's got the lovely deep honey brown color, which is very much what you associate with cassiterite. A lot of the examples are so dark they look black when you see them in photographs, but they're not. They're this honey brown. Now, I said I was a fan of it, and there's a reason. It, like a lot of metal ores of its type, it has a really heavy feeling to it when you're holding it. It's very grounding, it's very calming, you feel really sort of soft and protected and gentle when you're holding it. And that initially is mostly what you feel from it. But if you sit with it, it has another quality to it. Before I start talking about that, I'm going to show you another example. Now this is from, I don't know if I can pronounce it properly, but it's the Huanuni mine, <laughs> also in Bolivia. This example has a, lots of little crystals clustered on quartz. Very pretty, very sparkly. Now, what happens if you hold it for a period of time with intention and you sit in meditation with it is it will start doing clearing. A lot of what we do in crystal therapy is clearing these days. We're clearing old, held, yucky, traumatic stuff that people have just sort of stuffed away in places where they're, they don't want to look at it. But unfortunately, those are the roots of any illness. I mean, almost every illness, you can trace it back to an old traumatic event, and it's being held somewhere in the body. This cassiterite, this amazing mineral, actually works on the heart. Now, I find this hilarious because when you think of... Um, uh, you think of the Wizard of Oz and the Tin Man. The Tin Man, his whole sole purpose in life was to try to find a heart because he didn't believe he had one. So it just seems sort of ironic that this works with the heart. But it's, um, it works on the heart clearing old, old, old stuff, even past life stuff. And, um, and it can have an effect because there's this interconnection, interconnectedness between the heart with the solar plexus and the throat. So it will clear from the heart, but quite often affect those two chakras as well. Just really lightens the load for people because uh, so much of this held, if, if we're holding stuff in the heart, it's usually the hardest, densest, heaviest thing to let go of. And to be able to clear it so easily by sitting with it is phenomenal. Now, the last piece I'm going to show you of the samples I have is a tiny cluster from Minas Gerais in Brazil. This is quite rare. You don't often find this in Brazil. So it's, uh, you'll probably find that if you want a piece like that, it's going to be more expensive than the Bolivian. So I don't necessarily recommend it as something to work with clients, but I do think it's a really good one to work on yourself and just to clear the old, old stuff that you've been hanging on to from that point of view. I have one last piece to show you, but it's so valuable. I haven't even been allowed to bring it back with me to sort of show to the camera. 
it is a, it's an old piece, a large collector specimen with quartz from Cornwall. And this is a sort of museum piece. This is really exquisite and very, very valuable. So just enjoy the picture. I got to look at the picture. I didn't get to handle it. <laughs> but highly, <clears throat> excuse me, highly recommended.